feared it, but it wasn't on the line that I wanted. Pace is good. That pace is good. Oh my god, go in! Go in! Or just go for birdie. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is pure. What an absolute. That's incredible. That is incredible. Oh, and that is catapulted. That is catapulted. Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we're up here at Allen Park Golf Club. Today we're going to be playing 15 holes a day on the channel. We currently have three holes shut, uh, going over the other side of the course. So there's three holes tucked away in the course. They're currently shut because it's waterlogged, etc. But anyway, guys, 15 holes a day on the channel. I'm looking for a bit of advice today. Uh, chipping around the greens, really struggling with. So if you can help me out, leave a comment down in the comment section and uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong and tell me what club I should be using from anything from like 20 yards to 30 yards on the fringe of the green or even uh, 70 yards to 100 yards, please let me know. Just go down in the comments, let me know what club you should you would be hitting and uh, just a bit of advice. It would uh, be really much appreciated. But anyway, Allen Park, 15 holes. Let's get it. Just stick, stick, stick. Should be okay. Should be okay. I've got a six iron in hand. Just hoping to get one over that branch here. Guy's off the green now, so, yeah, so we can go. Shot two. Six iron in hand. Just want to try and get one close. Drive was a little bit right. Come on. Oh, that is pure. That has got to be on it. What a strike. Oh, here. And we're still short. I thought it was all over it, but nope, we're short. Hey, Aaron, guys, this is the shots that I really need help with. So if you can leave down in the comments just down below, leave a little comment and let me know what you think the club should be. I've got a 9 iron bumper run. Uh, also got a pitching wedge and a 58 degree, which I don't think the 58 degree is perfect for in this condition. But I've got a 9 iron, hopefully, going to run one on up to the flag. But please let me know down in the comments what club I should be using from here to the green. And a shot like that's not great. That's next shot is for a par. That is not great. On the fringe of the green. Should I be putting that? I'm not too sure. It does look potable. Maybe I should be putting it, but honestly let me let me know down in the comments what you recommend. Got a pitching wedge. Just gonna go and try and get one close. Nice little putting stroke. Close for bar, close for close for bogey, sorry. Not bad. Not take not bad, we'll take after a bogey attempt. So hopefully we can get a nice little tap in for a bogey. I'll take a bogey the first hole. There we have it guys. A little bogey to start, it's not the worst, we'll take it. Bogey to start is not the worst. Right hand side of the bunker up there. Not the right line. I think if I had the distance it probably would have, or the right line it probably would have done it. But here we're up there guys, we're chipping. Just right hand side of the green. I've got a pitching wedge in hand. If this isn't the right club please let me know. I've got a pitching wedge in hand, right hand side of the green. Let me know what the club of play would be here. Actually works out okay. Need to stop, 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 stop. Two pop for par. Yeah, happily take that. We'll take that. It's not bad. So we currently have a two pot here for pars, guys. A nice two pot for par, I'll be happy. But then again, if I can sink this for birdie, we'll be even happier. I think we all would we got a birdie, wouldn't we? We'd be happy. Because I'd be delirious. Or just go for birdie. Oh my god. And he birdies the second. We will take that. <laughs> Get in there. What's going on? So we're in hole three, guys. It's another par four. Just want to try and get one down the middle. Don't we all? Staying that way. It's down there anyway. We'll have a nice shot in. 
Yep. Just out to the left there. Kind of pulled out there, but yeah, we'll take us down there. Shot to you guys in about 85 yards out. We've got a pitching wedge in hand. Yeah, again, if that's the wrong club, please let me know. Pitching wedge in hand. Just want to try and get one close. The wind's really strong. You can feel it. Oh, just caught that fat. That's very pathetic. That's not a great shot, guys. Not great. Should be okay. Should be okay. It's stopping. Oh, is it? Just to the right of the green. We're power putting. We're not. It's not bad. Here for power, guys. Second shot really killed me there, but we're not always going to get good shots. You have to just accept it. It's golf. We're here. We're playing it. We're enjoying it. So you can't always get these good shots that you you want to get. But we're going uphill slightly here, and it is turning right. So I'm just going to go left hand side and look up. Does it have the legs? Does it have? Tell you what, that actually wasn't bad. It was turning. This is for bogey. Can we get the double? I mean, can we get the bogey? No, guys, and it's going to be a double bogey on the third hole. That's actually not great. Double bogey. Okay, drive to that. Golf is second. Hit a second. That last hole is definitely one to forget about. But we're on hole four. And it's a, it's a par four. I think it's 269 yards, not too sure. My drive's not reaching it. My drive goes good some days and it goes bad. But I'm not a pro golfer, so I just need to accept it. My target here is that big tree up there to the left hand side. So what is? That's my target. A bit of a, a fade would be nice. I feared it, but it wasn't on the line that I wanted. Just up over the mound over there, guys. Wasn't exactly the greatest of drives, but we're chipping anyway, we're chipping. Guys, just pulled it right a bit. So we did. Uh, but anyway, we've got pitching wedge in hand, we're 80 yards in. Let me know, guys, if this is the right club or not. Pitching wedge in hand. Looks okay. Just off the back of the green. Wow. Wow. And again, really don't know my club choices here. But anyway, pitching wedge in hand. Gonna try and just land one before the fringe of the green because it is rolling downhill pretty dramatic here. So a little pitching wedge in hand, just try and get one down. Pot and stroke. Be the club. That's what exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. That's not a bad shot, that's not a bad shot. Could have been better, but it's not bad, we're power putting. We've got a big power tent here. Straight enough. It's in a little video, when the flag's in, you've won free of getting it in. When the flag's out, you've, if it's on target, it's free and free, so. It needs to be on target though. Come on Dave, let's sink this. So he does, nice little par. Lovely par, we'll take that. We will happily take that. Hole five, it's a par five, 480 or 490 yards, I think it is. Driver in hand. Straight as the hole, as you can see. It's just straight, wide. But I also think, guys, see when the course is so wide, I think you also have a more of a chance of going right because, or left because it's so open. I don't know, it just gets in your head, but let's try and not get it in your head. We've got a par there, let's try and keep this going. Driver in hand, par five. Think positive, come on Dave. Oh, that is a low one. Where did that come from? It's low, but away she goes down the middle. Low and low, and away she goes. Shot to you guys, we're still 265 yards. I've got five wooden hand, just try and get one close. Hopefully, get one close. Five wooden hand. Oh, it's coming in nice. What a shot. Absolutely incredible shot. Just up there, about 30 yards short of the bunker, guys. Not a bad shot. We'll take it. We're about 15 yards. Pitching wedge in hand. Should maybe be using a 58 degree or 56. But we're going to play pitching wedge. Just nice little up and down. 
Hit the hill, hit the hill. Oh, dead too. Oh, that's not a bad shot. We'll take that. That's why we use the pitching wedge. So here we have it, guys. Nice attempt for birdie. Definitely going up hill, going up left. Just give it the right pace and it should turn in. Birdie pot, just get it close. Close, as I said, it wasn't bad. Hopefully a nice little tap in for par. There we have it guys, round the cup and just about got the par. <laughs> but anyway, a nice par, we'll take the par. And uh, we'll go on to the next, I think it's another par 5. Let's get it. So, it's another par 5, dog leg. It's stroke index 1, driver in hand. Let's try and get one down there. Let's try and get one down there. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Come down, come down. Yes guys, we should be alright. The wind absolutely just carried that. Wow. Shot to you guys. In the long stuff. Not exactly where I wanted it to be. But the wind is strong when it goes up. But we've got four iron in hand. Just try and play one down as far as I can go in the fairway. I'd be happy. Just caught up chunky in that rough. It's bouncing down the middle. But it's a par 5, hopefully try and get on in 3, try and get the par. Still 210 yards, the wind's killing my shots here guys. Let's try and get one down there. Green's clear. And I've topped the ball. Not great guys, that was absolutely terrible. I'm going to play an 9 iron as I'm in the wind. It's 122 yards. Wind's very strong, so I'm going to play an 9 iron in the wind. 122 yards and plus over the trees. Just hope we get one up and over. Oh, that is pure. That is pure. Catch it, wind. Catch it, wind. And we're on the dance floor. Not far from the flag, but we're par putting. Shot five. This will be for par if I can sing it. Hopefully I can. Fix my pitch mark. Or my, whatever you want to call it. But this is for par. Potting's been kind of half decent at the moment, so I'm trying to read this screen properly. It's definitely. I'm going to, I'm going to take the flag out. I think it's, it's probably the right call. I can knock it out. Big one for par. Wind is actually terrible. Believe it or not, guys, that was 122 yards and hit that an iron iron there and it literally just stopped no more in the green. But anyway, I usually call him an iron iron about 145, 150 on a good day. Just shows you how strong that wind is. Come in. Wow. F1 car flying past there. There we have it guys, a buggy. We'll take a buggy. The second and third down there weren't great. But we'll take a buggy. Two pots, not a three pot. We'll take a buggy and we'll go on to the next hole, which is a par three. It's interesting, over war. Hole seven. It's par three, 181 yards. Wins with, so I'm going to go up a club or down a club, whatever you want to call it. Seven iron, and hopefully, I just get one at it. Seven iron in hand, just because the wind's helping. I don't think it's helping that much, though, to be honest. That's going to be short. And believe it or not, we're actually on the dance floor, and I caught that a bit heavy. We're on the dance floor. Two pot. Let's get it. This is a mega pot. Pin is tucked away at the back. And it's uphill. The pace is good. That pace is good. Oh my god, go in. Go in. That is one of the best potting shots I have probably ever played. That is literally right beside the pin. Take a look at this one, guys. Miles down that hill. I'm going to move the flags. I don't want to hit in the pin. It's literally a tap in. Nice little par. And there we have it. Nice little par. What an absolute second shot. I have to say, the little spider GT putter is working wonders today. Let's keep this going. Hole 8, guys. It's par 4. Stroke index 3. What we already have, we have 437 ish yards. 
be a big drive to get one down over them bunkers. Hopefully we can get it. Hopefully we can get it. Oh no, it's catapult. That is catapult. Up there, left hand side of the bunker, and that is incredible. What a shot. Best drive of the day. We'll take it. Shot two guys, 172 yards. Pressure's on, getting told to play through. 172 yards. Let's try and get one up on the green or on the flag. That's incredible. That is incredible. Please be the number. We're on the dance floor, guys. Great strike. Hi. You all right? <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Ah, come on. Just right. Not happy with that one. But, it's still a good drive. 9 iron in hand. 124 yards, but with that win, I'm going to go... I'm going to try a different club, a higher club. 9 iron in hand. Try and get one at the flag. That felt good. Oh yes guys. Centre of the green will take it. Good strike. So we have two big putts here for par guys. Try and get the third shot close here. I thought it was centre of the green but who am I kidding? It's more or less back in the green. I'm going to clean the pitch mark. If I can just keep it this line. About three whole whips away from the flag, it should turn in as it slows down. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping anyway. Shot free, big birdie putt. Has that got that's not got the legs? That has not got the legs, and we've left that absolutely humongous for par. What was I playing at? The greens aren't that quick. So, big par putt, no free putts. We've not had a free putt today, so we need this. Keep these free putts off. Not happy. Tell you what guys, could be a four putt. That's terrible. It's actually annoying me, I'm not even going to line it up. There we have it guys, talking about four putt, I'm like... That's terrible. Absolute terrible. Walking away with a double bogey on it in two. Wow! Par four, dog leg left. Let's try and get one down there. Fuck. That is absolutely catapult down there. Monstrous. So we've hit an absolute monster of a drive, guys. Sorry about my language, but that was just absolutely scary to look at. We're about 170, seven iron in hand. Let's try and get one on the dance floor. And that is striped. That is absolutely striped. Left hand side of the green, maybe. Whoa! Irons are some distance in these irons that meant the P790s. That is literally about the back of the green. Wow! Just to the back left of the green, guys. Now, remember down in the comment section, let me know what you're thinking. Grip down on it. Oh, be good, be good. It's going to run from ends. That's good. Oh, mm. that's a bit big. That's a bit big for par. This hill I've got to go up here is absolutely dramatic. Wow. 
a little bit left I need to go. See, should have went a little bit more left. Hopefully that's a knock in for bogey. There we have it guys. Bogey in the cards. It's not great, but it's not as bad as what I thought it was going to be. I thought that pop was going to be a lot worse. We'll take a bogey, we can't complain. And we'll go on to the par 3 next. Next though guys is a par 3, I think it's 199 yards, wind's going with. So I'm going to down a couple of clubs here. Uh, sorry, I'm going to go up a couple of clubs. I'm going to play a 7 iron, we usually play maybe a 6 iron here, maybe let it run. It's, the fairways are pretty dry enough. So I'm going to play a 7 iron, hopefully the wind takes it. And uh, yeah, let's try and get uh, one on the dance floor. That is low and that is right at the pin. Look at that guys, bouncing onto the green. And we're on the front of the green. A nice two pot from there for par and I'll be happy. I'll take that. So we have a birdie attempt. Doesn't mean we're going to get it. Sure if you've seen that par four on the ninth hole. I was on it on two, four put up. But anyway, the birdie attempt uphill. Definitely need to go left in this shot. Big massive hill to the left hand side. Left hand side. Uh, the pin's right on nearly at the fringe of the green, plus there's a hill at the back of it. So, up left, hope the ball comes in. Now I've hit that a good bit, get closer, closer than that. That's still big, that's still big for par. And I was aiming left there and it turned pretty quick. For a par attempt, I'm going to take the flag out. Oh, it's just lipping around the lip of the cup. Free pot again. Tap in. Bogey. And on we go to the next hole, which is a par four. Not great, guys. A four pot. And a three pot today. Oh. Golf, golf, golf. Hole 12, par four, 388 yards. Dog leg left. Let's hope we can get one down on that fairway. And that's exactly where I wanted it. Oh my god, that's a monster. Woo! Beautiful monster. Great strike, we'll take it. Shot two, guys. Currently 105 yards. Pitch and wedge in hand. Don't know if this is the club. Do you not know if this is the club? Just gonna go and try and go right at it here. If I go back, it should still be on the green because the greens are massive. It looks good. It's gonna be left of the pen if it makes it. Yeah, we're on the dance floor. Left hand side of the pen. Not a bad strike. The birdie just fix, fixing my pitch mark. Big birdie pot. Don't know how many times I've said that today, and I've only got one of them. They're going for birdie. Just want to get it close. If I get it close for par, I'll be happy. I've got a little bit of a hill to go over here. A little bit of a hill. I think if I can just go left hand side of this hill, slightly left hand side of the pin. I'm not trying to go for the birdie, I'm just trying to go for the par. So get it close. It's all about pace. Come in. That just did not turn. Maybe that was a really bad green reading there, but. That did not come in. That's big for par now, so it is. Oh, free pot again on the green of two. Can you believe it? Another free pot today. Three pots are absolutely killing me. My handicap needs to go up. It needs to go up. Struggling at the minute. Struggling with my chips. Struggling with my pots. Ah. Come on, what's happening? So, it's another par 4 guys. We had to miss the next three holes, obviously as they're waterlogged, they're off at the other part of the course. Over that way, so then three holes were tucked away, so we're on the next hole, which is obviously, what is this, this is 15, 16, no this is six, hole 16. Par 4. If you have a good solid swing here, you'd be on this and one, or you'd be over the back of it, but... Oh my god, that is pure. 
what an absolute drive. Tell you what, guys, we're about 30, 40 yards short of that green. That's a really good drive. We'll take that happy. So, in the centre of the fairway, guys, 54 yards short is what I am. 54 yards short. The wind's obviously caught that there. That's actually really deceiving looking back here. But 54 yards short. I've got my pitching wedge in hand. I can't think of another club to use here. 60 degrees not going to make it. 50 degrees not going to make it. That full pelt with no wind, it's about 60 yards. But pitching wedge in hand. Hey, well, it's not bad. That is not bad. Stick, stick. Oh, we're on the green. You've heard that story before. Two putt for a par. Let's not free putt it. So, big attempt here, guys, for birdie. If I can sing a birdie, I'd be happy. It might redeem myself a little bit from the four putt and the free putt. But I can't afford no more free putts. I have two holes left to go after this. A par three and a par four, I think it is. Not too sure, but this hole here anyway, I need to get, try and get close, not rush my shot, and maybe I can afford just to go a little bit right hand side of the pin here. Coming down a bit close, that's still big for par, that's still big for par. Please do or not, whatever you do, free putt this. Do not in your life free putt this. Just do not free putt it. There we have it guys, finally. Not a free putt. We'll take a par. Happily take a par. And we'll move on to the par three now. Which is going to be into wind. Could be a five iron shot here. Let's test it out, let's go and check it. So it's a par three. 186 yards. Going to get all the, keyboard, all the keyboard warriors here. I'm sure I'm going to get them, but I'm going to be hitting a five iron. 186 yards, in the wind. Go ahead, rip the arse out of me if you want, but I'm going for it. Five iron hand, and it's probably still going to be short, believe it or not, but it's in the wind. The wind's pretty strong, I have to say, so. And that is an absolutely incredible shot. That's right at the pen if that makes it. If that has the legs, that is at the pen. And there you have it. And there you have it. On the dance floor. On the dance floor. So after giving the large up there guys, big head Dave here, thought he was on the green and he was actually short of a bloody bunker with a 5 iron. It shows you how embarrassing that is and shows you how windy that is. I've got a pitching wedge here, going to try and get one just over the bunker, which is a tricky shot. And just hopefully close to the green, on the, on the green hopefully and on the, close to the flag. Could be good. Oh yes, come down the hill, calm down. But I'll tell you one thing guys, that's going to be a two putt, that's going to be a two putt, unless I think I'll be happy, but I think that's going to be a two putt, we're on. So, two putt, take your bogey, walk away, just accept it. Bogeys aren't the worst of things I suppose, but I'm never putting this for par, that is absolutely massive. And hopefully the ball just comes down. I tried it, just not the right shot or right line. Top end bogey, hopefully. Left hand side of the cup. I can just wag it and put it in the hole. And there's the bogey, guys. Ah, oh, come on, I'm not happy with that. I should be happy, because obviously I thought my first shot was on the green. It was actually short of the bunker, so I should be happy for that, but... Golf. Probably a team. Four. It's an interesting hole. Bunkers left and right, middle fairways where the balls go land. That's a great strike. Great strike. Wind will catch it, but it'll be fine. It should be fine. Yep, there it is. It's actually got a kick back into the fairway. We'll take that. 
wind pulled it right, but it started getting, I got a kick off that mound, put it back in the middle of the fairway, well not middle, on the right hand side of the fairway. So I've had a great kick back off the mound there, off the hill, but we're left with 169 yards, I've gone 7 iron, the wind is pushing right, it's not against me, so the wind might kill it a little bit, but I think a 7 iron should make it. Should possibly even go to an 8 iron, but I'm going to go 7 iron. It's struck well, but as I said, the wind's pulling it right. And yes, we're just over the bunker up there. Wasn't a bad strike, but we're up there. Shot for you guys. Just made the bunker. Pitch and wedge in hand. As I said earlier on to start the video, guys, if this is probably the wrong club choice, it's a pitch and wedge. Let me know what you would be hitting. But anyway, we've got a pitch and wedge in hand. This is a tricky shot. Just need to get one close. Just a little bit more of the putting stroke. Keep rolling, baby. And it's just absolutely died. It's going to be a two putt, guys. Hopefully. So, we're on the 18th here, guys. Yet again, we have another big putt for par. Chipping, as I stated at the start of the video, isn't great. Around the greens, I need a bit of advice. Any tips, please comment below. Let me know. I'd really take your advice. Uh, putting's... Been half decent, a two free, I mean, a free, is it two free putts and a four putt? Or is it a free putt and a four putt? But anyway, big par putt. Just gonna go at it here. Any putting tips as well, I'll happily take. Yeah, there's the two putt coming, guys. As we said earlier, it's gonna be a two putt. As long as that's not a free putt, we're happy. Knock her in. There we have it. It's going to be a bogey to finish. Bogey to finish, guys. But, guys, just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Wasn't the greatest of rounds. We had to miss three holes, obviously, because the, la the last three holes being waterlogged. But 15 holes a day. Chipping's not great. Potting's not great. Drays were somewhat decent. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and please comment below with any tips that you'd recommend me doing. And uh, yeah, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Cheers, guys.